probably going to pay so much money for parking because in Japan, parking, you, um, it's like pay for parking. So you basically freaking, you pull up, there's like a little gate there, you take your ticket, and then you park. And when you come back, I don't know how much it charges, but I guarantee I'm going to be paying over $20 because I'll be gone all day. So we'll see how much this is. After about numerous train stops, finally made it. And this is what I'll be going up on in a minute. All the way to the top of that. So if I can just find out how to get there, get my ticket, we'll go up there. So I just got to the Tokyo Skytree station and um, I stopped for a sec to eat a Pop-Tart. Had a little Pop-Tart break because I didn't get a chance to eat today. Because I was on the train the whole time, it was packed and I didn't want to disturb anyone making a noise trying to open my pop tart but basically guys this is where I am right now that is the Tokyo Skytree Tower I'm gonna climb that in a minute once I get to the entrance but I just want to show you guys how cool it is here um, I have no idea what this is but I don't know it's gorgeous here guys I'm, I'm loving it and there's so much to do here so all I'm gonna say is every week there's gonna be stuff coming out on this channel you know, I'm here for two years I'm trying to do everything possible I can in Japan so if you guys stopped in or you want to see what I'm doing around Japan, see what it's all like, what's like living overseas and stuff, you came to the right place. But I'm going to go find the entrance to that, get a ticket, and we're about to go in there and I'll pick it up when I get there. I honestly have no idea how to get there. Um, I'm really just climbing stairs right now. I'm trying to figure out where the entrance is to this place. So let's hope I find it. I came a long way. I think I found the entrance, guys. Right there. This is what I was talking about. We're going up there. I got to skip the line because I'm from the United States, so international people get their own line. Made it to the top, guys. Currently 350 meters over Tokyo. But as you can tell, it's really crowded, so I'm going to try and find a window spot to show you guys the view. Because right now, even from back here, it's amazing. This is incredible. And I bought tickets to go even higher. So once I'm finished looking around here, we're gonna go up even higher. This is crazy guys, there's so many people here, but look at this view. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but it was raining out, so I chose the perfect day because it's clear as hell out. I'm going to try and walk around a little bit, try and get some better views, and I'm going to go all the way up even higher because I bought an extra ticket so I can go up higher. I love heights. I mean, Heights don't fear me. Obviously, everyone's skydiving on leaves, so this is nothing. So, this is the stuff I look for right here. Some sort of river there. It's actually nice to see water because I haven't seen water in so long. My base is pretty far from the water. It's like a two hour drive to the beach. So, once it comes summer again, I'll be going there. But it's nice to see water again. crazy how big Japan is, and I'm from New York, from New York City, so this is crazy to see. I 
Anyways, let's head to the top. Currently at the highest point right now. Um, they almost didn't let me in because you got two tickets before you went up. There's one for the lower observation and then there's one for the higher one. And what basically happens when I drop my other one, so they didn't let me in almost. They like, made a big deal, they went to search for it and stuff. But they saw that I had my receipt with me and they let me up. They're like, just this one time you can go up since you have the receipt, but next time you gotta have both tickets. So, word of advice, guys keep your receipt. As you can tell, I'm always a big fan of heights. Uh, the option to go higher, I went higher. I jumped out of a plane, I did. It's another thing too, I plan on jumping out of a plane again in the next couple months, if not the springtime, because they run trips here. So expect a vlog of that eventually coming, so don't think that was the last time that you'll see me jump out of a plane, because I'm doing it again. Just found out there's a glass floor. So I'm waiting on mine to stand on the glass floor, hoping it doesn't break. <laughs> It's not that cool. So this is guys, you just climb this. And I have to say it was pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'm not afraid of heights. I like climbing stuff like that, seeing the views and stuff. And uh, so right now I'm probably gonna go find a place to sit, go eat lunch. And I wanna talk to you guys something more about a personal note. And yeah. I chose the perfect day to do this, because like I said earlier before, I planned on going out um, yesterday morning, but when I woke up it was pouring rain all day, so I just went to the gym, hung around, watched Netflix and stuff. But I chose the perfect day to do this, perfect weather. Until next time, maybe again I'll climb the tower, probably not. I'm sitting here guys by myself because I'm sitting here and I just finally thought to myself um, and the thing I wanted to bring up which kind of comes from my heart basically is something that I've always seen and I didn't really realize it was true until I joined and I kind of experienced everything. And the thing I want to talk about is stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, that thing is huge. You see the quotes all online, like life begins outside your comfort zone. And I didn't really understand what it meant until I kind of left home and here I am now. So I kind of want to talk to you about it a little bit, give you guys some words of wisdom, there's something about it, just, you know, just see things through. And for you guys to realize there's life, there's more to life than what you think. So the thing I wanted to talk about real quick while I'm here and not a lot of people around me is um, the idea of stepping out of your comfort zone. I believe a lot of people in life, including me, and I'm a prime example of it, um, we all get too comfortable with the way we're living and we think that's it, that's life. Um, but I'm going to tell you that that's all false because me personally, I'm going to say before I join, whether it be you have a fear of a relationship not working out, of you traveling, of you going on vacation, of you going to school, whether it be, like this applies to everything, no matter the circumstance. Um, like I said, a lot of people get too comfortable with the way they live and they just, they're fine. They just go with, that, go with the flow and follow the crowd. And me personally, I didn't. I learned that the hard way. Not like it was a bad thing. It was a great thing that's happened to me. Honestly, the Air Force is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, it's transformed me into someone I've never thought I could be become. I grew up. I matured. I'm 100% independent. And as you guys can tell, I'm living in Tokyo, Japan, for two years at 19 years old. What person at 19 or ever can say like, yeah, I've been to Tokyo, but have you lived there for two years? I've done it. So, I think I want to tell you is. Before I left for BMT, of course I was afraid, or before I even enlisted in the military, of course I was afraid of, what if I didn't like it, what if this, what if that, what if that. The thing is, the only thing that's gonna change you is you pushing yourself and you going across your fear. Fear is something that doesn't exist. It's only something that exists in our mind. It's something that just prevents you from reaching out. You have such an incredible potential in life, no matter what it is, everything. But the only thing that keeps people reaching out is the fear of the unknown. And the only way to figure out if that thing's right for you is for you to go right across that step across that um, threshold and go right through the fear and next thing you know you're living life. I was afraid of um, 
moving away from home. I was afraid if I wasn't gonna like the military or uh, most importantly, if I wasn't gonna do well in the military and stuff. But as of now, I'm doing great. I'm living it, I'm putting in work every day, um, taking every advantage, opportunity that comes across my way. And I just wanna tell you guys, before, um, I know a lot of people, this, I wanna talk, this comes from heart too, because I've talked to so many people out of it. And I'm actually a lot of people okay, like, that have been friends with that came up to me and said, thank you, man, like, I appreciate it. But they want to say about it. when you guys are requesting to go away, where they join the military, this is about the military right now that will touch back on reality and civilian life. But a lot of people say, oh, I want to go back. Like, I want my base to be near home so I can go home and stuff. I understand you're going to miss your family. That's a part of life. But your family's not always going to be there forever. So you got to learn how to be independent by yourself. I wasn't the person to have mom and dad hold my hand and stuff. That's why I joined the military. I got out. I went independent. Because it's only going to create a path of success for the future for myself and for the people that are with me. Um, a lot of people, they all want to go back home. So I kind of sat down with them. And I was just like, why do you want to go back home? They're like, oh, you know, just family and stuff. I'm like, why would you want to go back home like, to your family? I understand you're going to miss them, but part of life is growing up and getting out of that comfort zone, taking that leap of faith into the unknown. And a couple of people, they're like, yeah, you're right. Like, I, I literally had like deep talk to them about this stuff. And then um, all of them got like assignments overseas, Italy, Guam, like Germany and stuff. And literally like, about two or three of them messaged me that I still talk to. And they're just like, dude, I'm so glad you talked me out of it because I'm loving you know, living overseas being away from everyone so that's what I want to say step up out your comfort zone guys um, there's a quote that I'll probably put in the description I don't remember it but it's just like I think it's fear's got incredible ability to keep us from reaching out to seeing what we all like the fear of the unknown is what stops so many people and I'm just a prime example guys I was afraid of all this I was afraid of BMT I was afraid of tech tool afraid of paling out afraid of getting hurt afraid of living seas being away from my family but the thing I want to talk about too guys is I'm the example of that so anything's possible guys step up you know outside your comfort zone and you'll be amazed at what could happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I'm sorry if it wasn't too entertaining and stuff, but I kind of just went out by myself today. And I want to make a vlog for you guys and go out by myself, because usually I don't like vlogging around friends and stuff, but that's gonna change, because I really don't care what they think. But anyways, guys, um, I just ate some lunch by the, uh, the river over here. Uh, we climbed that tower today, saw some crazy views, as you guys saw. And now I'm gonna go head back to the train station, head back to base. And I'm gonna see how much that frickin' uh, parking ticket, or not the parking ticket, the parking, um, yeah, the parking ticket is. Bet you it's gonna be over $20. And like I said, when I first got here, pay with the parking ticket. So let's see how much this is. I guess 20 bucks. Let's hope it's not more than 23, because that's all I got. $21. 100 more yen. And we're out of this bitch. Let's go home. Finally back after like 38 train stations. I went like two hours into Tokyo just to go to that tower and go explore. It was worth it. I had a good day. Um, I'm completely exhausted right now. The only thing I hate about traveling is trans like the transportation, like to get into that point is a pain in the ass. Like the biggest thing for me that was annoying as hell was I had to stay at um stay on the plane for like 14 hours to get here. And whenever I go on leave, if I do go on leave, it's gonna be another 14 hours. But sitting on the train. And the trains are so busy and I always just leave the seats open for like children and older people to sit down on. So I always stand and it just takes a toll on your body. So I'm gonna go back, go watch YouTube, eat some dinner, and uh, just take a shower and relax because I got work tomorrow. So catch you guys next time. If you guys are stopping the first time, please subscribe and see you later.